Hello and welcome, my name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can easily color correct multiple images in both Photoshop and Lightroom. Here are 10 images I want to apply the same edits to and I'm going to begin in Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is to go up to Window and select Actions. And in our Actions panel, you will see a little plus icon to create a new action. And then you will just name this whatever you want. I'm going to name this Mind Island Batch in all caps so it's easy to find. You can just hit record and now every action we do is being recorded by Photoshop. And now I'm going to go to my adjustments and select photo filter. And I want to get rid of this warm color cast. So to combat that, I'm going to select a cooling filter. And now I'm going to scroll through my different cooling filters. And I personally like the cooling filter 82. And now my photo is also a little bit dull. So I'm going to go back to my adjustments and select a levels. And now with these two little sliders, I'm going to uh, adjust my blacks and my whites. And if you hold Alt on your keyboard, or Options if you're on Mac, you can see uh, here if it's clipping when you're sliding the sliders back and forth. So this looks much better. And you can see here in my Actions panel, these actions were recorded. Once you're happy with your adjustments, you also want to go to File, Export, and save this file because Photoshop is also going to record the process of you saving this file, which is also really important. So I'm going to save this as a JPEG and then save and then just select the file. So here are my raw unedited files. And then in that same folder, I have a new edited folder and I'm gonna save these new images in this new folder. Save that. And the last step we want to record us doing is going to file and close. And then you can just say no because we already recorded us saving that within our steps. And then go back to window and actions and then just stop the recording. So the steps we took to edit that one image have been recorded and we will just apply those same edits to the rest of our folder. To apply all of these edits to the other images, you want to go to file, automate and select batch. And then you want to go to your action settings and select the new actions you made, which is the Mind Island batch. And then you want to select the source folder with the choose button. And this folder is where I have all of those unedited images, even though they're not showing up. And then your destination at the top, you want to choose none because you already set the destination within your action. And then you can just hit OK. Now, if I open up that one edited folder where I'm saving all of those new images to, you can see Photoshop reapplying those actions to all of those images for me. In Lightroom, here are the same 10 images I want to color correct all at once. So to begin, let's select one image as our reference and under my color properties, I'm going to select the eyedropper and then just choose the background color because this was shot within a white light box. So that is my true white color. And now under my light settings, I'm going to adjust my exposure, contrast, shadows and all of that stuff until I'm happy with this image. Once you're happy with your adjustments, all that's left to do is to go to those three dots and then select copy edit settings. And now you want to go down to your film strip and select the first unedited photo and then the last unedited photo go back to those three dots and then paste to entire selection so now you'll see all those same effects are being applied across all of my images now finally to export all of your images you just want to select one image hold shift and select the last the export button and now you see there are 10 photos selected and you can choose whichever format you want to export as in this single tutorial, we covered how you can easily color correct multiple images in Photoshop and Lightroom. I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any more helpful tips like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.